Moderna and Pfizer are both testing COVID boosters to combat variants of COVID-19. Dr. Scott Gottlieb is former FDA commissioner and a CNBC contributor who also sits on the boards of both Pfizer and Illumina. And Scott, this is good news to hear that these boosters are being tested, especially with some of the reports that we've seen that there, there are definitely some variants that are circulating in New, New York City and, and picking up spe steam in terms of uh, how rapidly they're out there. That's right. The company has announced um, two things. One, they're testing an additional booster of the current vaccine to see if the additional efficacy that's conferred by giving a third dose of the existing vaccine um, is sufficient to cover those new variants. And there's reason to believe that you will get additional protection just from a booster of the existing vaccine against those new variants and that the mRNA vaccines could be fairly protective against those variants. But we need to test that. We need the experimental evidence and the clinical data. And then the, the second thing that the companies are doing, both of them, is formulating new um, vaccine variants, new, new variant vaccines that would cover uh, some of these changes that we've seen in the virus. And what you want to do is not necessarily uh, develop a vaccine that is particular against 351, the change that we saw in South Africa. What you want to do is try to develop a protein sequence that's sort of a consensus sequence and bakes in um, enough of the changes that we've seen across the world that you'll have a vaccine that'll be protective regardless of what the virus manages to do to itself. You know, I hadn't thought of this before, but if, if they're saying a third shot is one of the potential solutions, would we actually prioritize that and give high-risk individuals the third shot, or would you wait until everybody gets at least one or two shots of these things before you start going back and trying to, to re-up the people who got the first shots? Well, look, I think we're going to be in a situation within a couple of months where there's going to be ample supply of vaccine, and the U.S. market will, frankly, be oversupplied with vaccine, and we'll be donating vaccine to other countries. I think there'll be plenty of supply for a third shot come this fall. Just looking at the mRNA vaccines alone, the U.S. government has contracted for 600 million doses, and you have J&J &J coming into the market. You know, and the other vaccines, the Novavax vaccine looks very promising as well, and may come into the market with supply also. So, I don't think we'll have to ration supply if we want to give a third booster to people come the fall. You know, the challenge is going to be thinking about the new variant vaccine and whether or not and when you would switch over manufacturing to that vaccine and how much you'd produce, because that's going to be a decision you have to make in advance of those new variant vaccines probably being authorized. You may not want to switch over all your manufacturing, but some of it. Um, so that's something that is going to, the companies are going to have to make a decision around probably sometime in July or August. Sometime in the summer, you're going to have to make that decision. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.